I'm going to talk about how to start a YouTube automation channel as a complete beginner. You've never done YouTube before. You've never even, you don't want to put your face out there and you want to do everything faceless and you want to make the step as easy as possible. This is what this video is going to be about. Oh, by the way, to join my community, the link is going to be in my bio or below this video description, depending on the platform you're seeing this. Anyway, I am going to be doing this in eight simple steps. Guys, this is so simple. Do not be worried that you're going to get lost at all. Just take notes and do the steps according to how I say to do it. So the first thing you want to do is to, I have a notepad here so I don't forget anything. The first thing you want to do is to choose a niche. You want to choose a niche that you're passionate about. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. Or you want to choose a niche that is trending right now. I went with the training niche because I was just in need to make money. Is forget the passion because my my plan was to outsource this anyway because it's none of my business. I want to be making money on the side, but I don't want to be doing the work. That was the initial plan. So if your plan is to do what I do, then there's no need about being passionate about it. Just go with the trend, go with where everyone is going and make your money. That's all you can do. I showed you a strategy of how I do this uh, in my training. I also provide you with the niches if you're on my one-to-one -one as well. So you don't have to do this process. But in order to do this, just go on your YouTube and then you go to your incognito browser. And you just want to keep screwing through and just keep going until you find a niche that you think mm, this niche i could use ai to create it you click on the video and see what type of video the person is using most likely they're going to be using stock images or stock video something you can get from places like uh, picturevideo.com or you can get it from pexels most likely they're going to be doing that and they're going to have subtitle in the video that's how you know that that is a channel that you can use ai for some of them are going to be using AI generated image or I'm going to be talking about later. Also, those channels you can easily create using AI. Once you find that video, what you want to then do is copy the title and put it on your YouTube search bar. When you search it on your YouTube search bar, it should come out with, ideally you want it to be coming up with different channels that are jumping in the niche. The newer the channel, the better it means it's trending up. And when something is trending up, you know what people do, they follow. And that's what you want to do. You want to follow as well. These steps, we might get lucky, take you 20 minutes, it might take you two hours, it might even take you a week or two weeks to find the right trending niche. But the thing is, once you find the right trending niche that YouTube is favoring at the moment because that's what everyone is jumping into it, then you are a lucky one, you find hidden gem. Most people will not do this. A lot of people will just give up at finding a niche for like a day or two. That's why you going a step further and keep looking until you find one, you're way ahead of the other people. You want to go and follow about 10 of your competitions. People who are doing exactly the same thing you want to do, like the same channel niche that you want to do. You want to follow 10 of them, many more 10. If you can follow more, then that's, that's great. I have more on my channel, so it's completely fine what you choose to do, but 10 many more. The reason you want to do that is because you want to go to their channel, click most popular, click on their video, and then you want to click on most popular option. Then you're going to see the ones that have the most views. Yeah, it's most likely if they're monetized and they're getting lots of traction, there are going to be some outliers like the videos that does better than some of them. So you want to look at those ones that does better and see how they're editing, how they're writing their script, what they're doing, what style of um, the voice are they using. Is it a deep voice or is it a woman's voice or is it a man's voice? You want to just take note of every single thing you find on that, the best videos that they have on their channel. And then you want to have that in mind for later when you create yours because you want to make it as similar as possible if it's working for them it means people are already enjoying it and it's going to work for you now once you find your competition and you've verified you validated your niche basically verifying it to make sure the new channel is jumping on it and it's something youtube is favoring right now it's time for you to then set up your channel to set up your channel it's so easy guys do not overcomplicate this you can go to youtube and search like how to set up youtube channel for beginners or how to set up youtube channel from scratch but on my course i show you how to do this anyway but for those of you who are not in that yet you can simply do this all the informations are already out there you just have to find it and then once it comes to setting up your channel if you want to create your banner i use canva you can use canva i also use chat to create my banner as well you can use chat or but with ChatGPT, you need the pro plan so if you don't want to be using pro plan just simply go with canva when it comes to logo you can also use chat or you can use canva i use both but I have pro plan for both because I can afford it. I am earning money right now. So I can afford to take the money that I'm earning and reinvest it into other things that I need. 
I've completely outsourced my my channel now. I've given someone to manage, and I started a new one recently. I think it was maybe five days ago. I talked about it on my TikTok. If you're on TikTok watching this, then you know I already talked about this. Now, the next thing you want to do after setting up your channel, you've added your description, everything is ready, is to then start creating video. To start creating video, you need a script. So, how are you going to get the script? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can easily get your script. Now, what you want to then do is choose any of your competition channel. You know those people I said to follow, those 10 different channels I said to follow earlier. Now they're going to come in useful. You want to go to their video and then choose by the most popular again. And then you want to look through and see something that is recent. Ideally, nothing older than three months. Sometimes I get lucky with five months, but very rarely. Nothing older than three months. You want to find those videos that are... Ideally, you want it to be right now. Something posted two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It's even better. But take one of those videos, copy it, copy the link, and then you're going to go to a website called youtubetranscript.com. And then you're going to paste the link on there. Just click generate, and it will give you the transcription of that video for completely free. It's going to give you all the rating in rating words. That's what I mean. I think you probably already know what transcription means, but and then you're just going to copy those written words, every single one of them, and you're going to go to ChatGPT and you're going to ask ChatGPT. You're going to put a prompt that says, say it exactly like I say, or say it however you want to say it. You're going to say, can you add punctuation to this script and then put exclamation mark and then copy the script and put it right on the bottom. The reason you want to do this is youtubetranscript.com doesn't add exclamation mark when they generate the script for you. So it's just all over the place. You wouldn't even know what it's worth. That's why you go to ChatGPT and ask it to add exclamation mark. Once it's done that, you open a brand new Google Doc, post it on that. Remember, this is not your script. This is your competition script. So we do not want to be using it. Please do not copy someone else's script. I beg you. YouTube is getting so stricter in 2024 and everything is like literally people are losing their account here and there. Some people blame AI. That, oh, it's because they're using AI. But I don't believe that because I'm still earning money right now with AI channels. Just don't copy your competition. It's too risky and it's not worth the risk. What you want to then do is rewrite that script to be completely unique. You want to write it in the same way as your competition. This, I use ChatGPT. I don't know if any other software I'll probably Google it. If I do find any, I would let you know. I would make a video about it. But I use ChatGPT for this and I use ChatGPT Pro. If you can find a free AI software that can do that as well, please go for it. Use that. I use my I have a prompt that I give everyone in my course. I have a prompt that they just copy and paste. It's already created for them. That's the prompt I use. I just copied the prompt that I normally use to recreate. Basically, just telling ChatGPT to recreate this script in a certain amount of words in a certain way. That's what the prompt says. When I paste it on there, I then copy my competition script and then I'll paste it on the bottom of it so ChatGPT know that that's the script I want it to recreate for me. And then click generate and then click, yeah, the icon. It just goes and start writing. Sometimes what happens is ChatGPT crashes if the script is too long. So what you want to then do is just on the continue button, it will continue to generate it for you. And that's how you will get your script. If you could generate a script that is not enough, the number wise, like, because you want to get as close to your competition's number as possible because you want it to be ideally the same length or just a little bit lesser, or it can be a little bit more. If you not generate enough, you're just going to paste it on the new Google Doc, your own script this time, and then you're going to copy, read it through, just came through, and then any part you feel like it could expand on, just copy it, and then go back to JGBT and ask it, can you expand on this to be 300 words or 3,000 words, and then it will re-expand it for you, and then you can just copy and paste it in your script. Once that is done, make sure you skim through it because sometimes ChatGPT tend to repeat itself and you don't want that because they point it out. <laughs> I've done it before. They will watch the video and then we'll start pointing out like you're repeating yourself or you're making spelling mistakes. Even though I don't care, it brings me more, more, um, what's it called? More attraction, I guess. But sometimes I'm like, oh, uh, they're pointing it out. But so try your best to do as best as you can it's fine if you make mistake don't worry haters will always hate now once that is done when your script is created it's time to create your voiceover to create a voiceover this part is so simple you don't want to be reading yourself because obviously we're using ai for everything now you can use 11 labs which 
most people talk about the most popular one but i use play just the hc i'll leave the link below everything i talk about will be linked below this video and if you're on tiktok um i'm sorry i can't really link below any video but just ask me anything you need it's called place just hc this is the one i use all i do is go to the voice section once you sign up it's so easy to use there's bare tutorials on youtube I'll show you how to use Plagiot HC. You just paste your script in there, pick your voice that you want. I normally use deep voice depending on the niche. Right now I started the spirituality channel. So it's a spirituality niche and it's more, it's very deep. It's more like, you know, your grandfather advising you kind of thing. That's the kind of voice I'm using right now. So you find the type of voice that suits your script and then you just click generate. That's it. Before you know it, within maybe five minutes or less, you have a voiceover ready to use. Once you've created your voiceover, now it's time to find your scenes or your images, however you like to do it. I use Petri Video for this, PetriVideo.com for this, or I also use Letico. Those are my favorite. Those They are my go-to. I use them for everything. I also use Leonardo.ai as well. I see, also use that for a lot of things, but it's only when I can't find what I'm looking for on Letico and I go to Leonardo.ai. So how does that work? In order to create your, you got your script, you got your voiceover, but now we need a scene or images to make a scene for our video. If you look at your competition channel, you're going to know what type of scenes they're using. So if it's a if it's a niche that don't use images, a niche that use the video, your competitions, then you want to be using videos and maybe mix it up with a little bit of images to stand out. But ideally you want to be using video. And if it's a niche that uses images, then you want to be using images. The spirituality niche that I'm on right now uses images. I'm going towards that way. Now, in order to get images, all you do is just open Letico. It's very easy to use, I promise you guys. The link I'm going to put on the screen so you know where to go. Open Letico, just type in, maybe you want to search for crying mother. I don't know why I thought about crying mother, that's weird. Maybe you want to search for happy woman. Okay, search happy woman. It will give you different bare images of happy women just take as much as you need use it according to what it says on your script so let me explain that properly for example on your script it's saying once upon a time there was a woman who lived in a small village just an example then you want to go and look for a, an image of a woman and a small village so when he's saying that once upon a time there was a woman that lives in a small village you put once upon a time there was a woman and then live in a small village I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I hope I'm making sense. So you basically just want the images or the videos to correlate with what's been said on your audio. Now, if they're only using scenes and not like videos and not images, what you want to do is go to pitrevideo.com or if you want to use the free version, use Pixel. I like things to be easy and rapid. So that's why I use Pitcher because all I have to do is just paste my script there and it gives me a video and then I make little changes and that's it. I can't be asked to go to Pexel and save and go back and save and go, like, that's long for me. But if you have time for that, my love, go for it, do that. At the end of the day, you're saving money as well because Patreon is paid for, you know, if you can't afford to do that at the start. What you want to then do is just save it according, the same way as the image that I talk about, just save it according to what's being said on the video and just make sure it correlates. Some videos are easier to create than others. Some videos don't necessarily need the same type of image. If it's like a meditation inspired type of video, you know, the meditation prompt where they're like, oh, you are feeling good right now. Oh, you've had a good night. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Those kind of video, you don't need a specific type of scene. You just need someone meditating. You can just have someone meditating all through. So those are the kind of videos that are easier to create. Ideally, I, I, I want to be creating those kind of videos, especially at the start. But then again, it doesn't necessarily mean you go viral just because, you know what I mean? You can never guarantee it. And once that is done, it's time for you to edit your video. See guys, everything so far, hopefully you've found it easy. If you don't understand it, just go back to the video from the start and just watch it again. Watch it as much time as you need to until you get it and take notes. It is easy. Stop making excuses, please. You got this. Now, for editing, I have CapCut and I have also Filmora. You can use CapCut or you can use Filmora. I use both. I'll explain to you why I use both. Now, when it comes to adding your image and your on the audio together, I use CapCut for that. I just drag in simply. If you want to learn how to edit in, I already have it on my course, but you're, you're not in my course. If you're not in my course, then please YouTube it. Just search how to edit video with CapCut how to edit video with Filmora. It's 
so easy there's tutorials that i will show you how to do it what you want to do is drag your scenes or your videos and everything your audio onto a cap card and then you're going to drag it on the timeline and simply just lay out it the way i said remember when i said if it's saying the once upon a, for once upon a time there was a woman put to once upon a time they'll put an image of a woman and they put an image of a village and just lay out it on your timeline like that click auto generate subtitle and then i'll look through it because sometimes capital makes some really weird things like they just make up things subtitle they would change it from what's being said i don't know why so i'll just keep to it to make sure the subtitles actually make sense and then when that is done i export it and simply upload it to my video to my channel not my video that's it that's all i do the funny thing is one of my best viral video actually the first viral video that goes went viral for me don't even have any uh, tags so just to show you tag is the less thing you should be worried about the best thing that youtube like that you should be working on not worry about it just work on it and try to get it better every time your retention the higher the better ideally you want it to be 40 percent or over but then again if you're just starting out and it's a new niche you don't know nothing about don't overstress it just keep posting you will learn as you go so the first one is retention definitely they love it click to rate click to rate is also i feel like click to rate and retention is side by side some people would say retention more some people would say click to, i say more i say both because if you think about it when they click on your thumbnail and they watch your video and they don't watch it good enough like the retention is not high and it's not very engaging they will click off and it still kills your video but when your video is very good and your thumbnail is shit and pardon my language your thumbnail is bad and they don't click on it they wouldn't know if the video is good or not because they need to first click on it in order to watch the video so i say they both go hand in hand so those are the things you need to work on from the start i hope you find this video useful i will not be doing too much editing i would i would just literally leave it the way it is but i'll remember a few things just to make it like not as long as it is right now because it's like 20 minutes or so if you have any question and if you've seen this on tiktok leave it in the comment section and ask me and if you've seen this on youtube do the same thing if you want to check out the membership course that i was talking about with community where i answer your question and i help you get started with my step-by-step -step strategy and i give you all my prompts and trending niches that i find i constantly updating it i'm constantly updating it so you never ever run out just check below this video in the description or check the link in my bio if you're in tiktok or you're on facebook check the link in my bio or my profile it was lovely seeing you guys and talking to you guys again and hopefully i will be creating at least one videos every day now i'll try i'll try but yeah bye